What up boys and welcome back to another classic gold farming video. So as you guys can see in uh, the title and the thumbnail, I asked myself the question like how good is stock gauge? Like how much gold can you possibly make? Which it seems like a nice dungeon to just like do five quick runs and then go ahead and do something else or just like camp a tune at stock gauge and just log on every now and then do five runs rinse and repeat. So I uh, went ahead and I did like five runs on my stream as you can see this is uh, one of my clips from me uh, streaming and I farmed this on a mage. The mobs are low level elite still uh, but since I play mage I can pull like an okay amount of mobs uh, however I did actually die while doing it because these mobs like it's easy to overextend they seem so harmless then all of a the sudden they keep on like knocking you down and you can't move, you can't even blink out of the stun and it's a clusterfuck and they just end up murdering you. But it's still, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. It's actually uh, one of the most fun farms that I've done uh, in a while on Classic. So I had a blast doing it. So, but yeah, enough of that. It can be done on any single class. Like you don't need to play a specific class to do it. Some class are going to be better than other classes and so on, right? But the, uh, the truth is every class can farm stockades, but you're going to do it faster or slower depending on what class you play. But the entire question was like, how much gold is it going to make, right? Because I noticed that when I was leveling my alt, I decided, all right, I'm interested in buying every single green item on the auction house for my warlock when I want to level. Well, for any alt for that matter, because... The process in uh, leveling in Classic is fairly slow, right? So you notice when you get that gear upgrade that it's way smoother. So me, I'm really, I'm really cheap. I really am. So if I find myself on the auction house spending like 25 silver to a couple of gold for a green item, there's definitely going to be some more people doing it. So I tried that while leveling my alt and... I sold absolutely every single green that I put up on the auction house, even if it had like horrible stats right so that's why i went ahead did five runs off the stockades i have the stats um from those run rights here but i'm going to show you guys the bags first right so we did end up with as you can see a bunch of cloth you guys are looking at 316 wool cloth um only 80 of these silk cloth was from uh, the stockades so never mind these 48 silk cloth right here but uh, yeah, 80 silk cloth and 91 linen cloth. So that's like 3.5 gold in wool cloth, uh, 1.6 in silk cloth, and just like 20 silver in linen. That's if you don't craft anything with it. And uh, then we got like in the raw gold, just vendoring the gray items and picking up the silver. Doing five runs got me to 17 gold raw. And then we also got 16 gold in item value with the current market value right now. So the items that you want to look out for, like, for instance, these, like, gray shoulders right here, they're level 17. It's the first shoulders you're going to get. People are going to buy them. So just posting these for, like, 25 silver, so 10 to 25 silver is really, really good. I always do it. They always sell. And then you got the ring. Like, rings are really hard to, uh, to get. So this uh, Defias ring right here, level 20. They tend to sell for anywhere between one gold to all the way up to five gold because uh, people don't care spending five gold on a, a ring that seems to be extremely good on a level. Amulets as well, it's really hard to get necklaces, so they sell for a couple of gold. Green shoulders for these uh, for this level, like 21, really good as well. And then I just kept basically every single item that's going to sell for minimum twice the vendor value i got some green shields that would vendor for 25 silver and they would was on the auction house for like 32 silver so i'm not going to do that for like potential seven silver profit and then the auction house cuts and all of that so uh yeah everything that i could sell for at least twice the vendor value of the green items i'm going to pop up on the auction house so the overall like once i've sold off all my greens i'm making 37 gold uh was it more than expected it was, yeah. Is it absolutely fucking insane? No, it isn't. Unless you can do the runs extremely efficiently, don't die, and you're lucky, right? I know that some realms, some of these items are extremely valuable, like rings and amulets and so on. They're not that valuable on my, uh, on my realm. So I thought it was a really, really fun farm to do. I'm definitely looking forward to doing more stockades and uh, extending it and doing like Shadowfang Keep and so on for uh, Twink items as well.
But that was it for today's classic how good is it video. So if you like these videos and you want me to continue making them, let me know in the comment section and definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't so you will be notified whenever I upload another video like this. But until the next one, bye bye.